All right, so Pro Tools has a brand new release out and it's a big one. And not because of new features in it, but because now how Pro Tools works. So if you are a current Pro Tools user or you're looking to get Pro Tools, you definitely need to watch this video. And we'll get to it all after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have videos coming out. So without further ado, today we're talking about the new release from Pro Tools, which is 2022.4. So this new release does not really have a bunch of new features in it. It does have some bug fixes but it's really all about the new subscription model that they are introducing, okay? So they are doing away with perpetual licenses, which means you could not buy Pro Tools outright anymore. You have to get a subscription. So I know that's gonna make some people kind of angry. Uh, for me, I don't care. I do subscription-based with Pro Tools, so I don't care. But for some of you guys, I know you're gonna be mad. Um, I also want to mention that um, Pro Tools first, because some people still ask me about that, that was actually discontinued at the end of the last year. So there are no free versions of Pro Tools out there. Okay, let me repeat that. No free versions of Pro Tools. All right, you have to pay to use Pro Tools. So some of the things that you do get in this new Pro Tools subscription are two new plugins. So I want to point them out here. Let me scroll down. So you get Group Cell and synth cell. So this is a picture of groove cell here. And this is a drum sequencer slash drum machine. So it's actually pretty cool. I play with it a little bit. Um, I haven't got to play with it in depth yet to tell you whether it is a, you know, awesome addition to Pro Tools or not. But from what I could tell, it's pretty cool. And then synth cell here is just an analog synth. So it's just another, you know, analog synth to add to your collection. So I didn't see anything really super special about it, but hey, Another free plugin, you know, so nothing wrong with that. So those are the two new plugins that you get in this new subscription model. All right. So really nothing else is being added to Pro Tools besides those. Now, I do want to mention Dolby Atmos is really the biggest thing that I've noticed in this update because you've had to have Pro Tools Ultimate to be able to use Dolby Atmos for mixing. Now, you can use it in the second tier, which is now called Pro Tools Studio. And we'll talk more about that when we get to the different subscription models. So up here, let me go back up to our subscription models here. We now have three. So we have Pro Tools Artist, Pro Tools Studio, and Pro Tools Flex. And in this video, I'm going to go over each of these in detail. I'm going to let you know their pricing, what's in each of them, and I'm gonna let you know which one is best for you. So this video is a little bit long, so I do have chapter links below. So if you wanna fast forward to any one of these particular descriptions, feel free to do so. So with that being said, let's get started and let's look at Pro Tools Artist first. All right, so we are looking at Pro Tools Artist first here, and we're gonna talk about pricing first. So if you get a one-year subscription and pay it up front, it's $99. And you get some additional features in here if you pay it up front, um, including you get additional products and services in the inner circle, okay? So this does make it worth it to do it this way and essentially save money. But if you're trying it out, of course, this doesn't benefit you, all right? The other thing you could do is do the $9.99 monthly subscription. So if you pay that throughout the whole year, you end up paying about $120. So that's not bad at all. And you get all the stuff that's actually in the subscription, but no additional features. So now let's take a look what the actual Pro Tools Artist has to offer. All right, so looking at Pro Tools Artist here, this says that as for anybody looking to make professional quality music and beats with easy to use creative tools, I'm going to add to that and say that really it's for anybody that is just starting out. Okay. Pro Tools Artist, let me repeat that, is for anybody who is just beginning. All right. It's not for somebody switching from another DAW that wants to try Pro Tools. I would actually say that's the next tier up, which we'll talk about later. I would say just for anybody starting out. All right. So in this, uh, you get Celemony Melodyne 5 Essential, which is good. So you could do some pitch correction. 
you get the artist bundle, which is 100 plus plugins. So if you're familiar with Pro Tools, you get, you know, all of their basic plugins in here. Um, honestly, you know, there's only gonna be a handful of them that you actually use because most of us are using plugins outside of Pro Tools because you're gonna wanna probably buy a lot of third party ones as you start growing your collection. Um, again, this is the inner circle rewards here. And again, this is only included in the annual subscription that I mentioned a little while ago. Uh, you get 32 audio tracks, 32 instrument tracks, 64 MIDI tracks. You get 32 aux tracks, 32 routing folders, which are basically aux tracks, more or less. They're just fancier aux tracks. You don't get any VCA tracks. Um, I honestly don't really use VCA tracks, so you know it's up to you if you care about that. Uh, you get one master track. You do not get any video tracks. So if you were interested in doing any post-production with this version, then that is a no-go. Okay, so no post-production with Pro Tools Artist. You can record 16 inputs at one time. So if you are tracking, you know, like a band, that's actually pretty good. You know, drum kit, guitar, vocals, you should be fine for that. Honestly, that's pretty good. Um, here, this does not support any of the Pro Tools interfaces, but honestly, the Pro Tools interfaces are pretty expensive and high-end these days. So if you're just starting out, you're probably not gonna be buying one of those. Um, it supports any of the Core ASIO ones, any of the Windows ones. Um, so you're gonna be good with that. So pretty much any audio interface you buy from Sweetwater, Guitar Center, whatever, is pretty much gonna be supported uh, with Pro Tools. Um, this just supports stereo mixing. This does not do any surround, no Dolby Atmos, just keep that in mind. And uh, you do not get any advanced automation, no post-production stuff, again, because you can't do any video. And you only get standard support, so don't expect to be getting any advanced support from Pro Tools techs on how to use this. But, you know, if you need support, feel free to check out my playlist popping up the top right corner to all of my Pro Tools training, all right? I have tons of videos to help you out get started with this, okay? So again, that is what Pro Tools Artist has to offer, all right? And this to me is just for somebody starting out. So that being said, let's move on to our next tier here, which is Pro Tools Studio. All right, so looking at the pricing for Pro Tools Studio, you can do a one-year subscription paid up front for $299, and that also gets you access to the Inner Circle products and services. Or you can also commit to a one-year subscription but pay it monthly, and that's gonna be $31.99, and that also gets you access to the Inner Circle. Or you can just do the monthly subscription and pay $39.99, which does not get you access to the Inner Circle, but of course gets you access to everything within the Studio subscription. So now let's look at what the Studio subscription has to offer. All right, so looking at Pro Tools Studio right here, it's basically said to be for artists, musicians, and producers who need the full tool set for professional music production. So. I would actually step it up a tier. I would say this is pretty much for 99% of people, studios, music makers. It's pretty much for everybody out there. Um, I would say really there's only a small tier of people that are gonna need the next step up, which we'll talk about later, okay? So this is gonna be for pretty much all of you watching this video. This is the subscription that you want, all right? So this includes Ceremony Melodyne 5 also. This has the complete production bundle, which is gonna give you a lot more plugins. Uh, you get access to the inner circle rewards if you get the annual subscription. Now this has 512 audio tracks, 512 instrument tracks, 1,024 MIDI tracks, 128 aux tracks, 128 routing folders, 128 VCA tracks, 64 master tracks, one video track, so you can do post-production in here and 64 tracks can be recorded simultaneously, all right? So you could do a lot with this here. And one thing I wanted to mention about the prior level is that, you know, it can do 32, you know, tracks of audio, and that may seem like a lot, but, you know, for people that are making music professionally, you know that your track count gets high. And that's why I say that, that is really just for beginners. So if you're gonna be making music, you really need this plan here. You need the track count, 
all right? Because you're going to get above 32 audio tracks, no doubt, <laughs> all right? All right, so this supports pretty much a majority of the Pro Tools uh, interfaces here. Um, it is not made for the HDX systems and HD stuff, all right? Um, that is for the step above. Um, but of course, if you're dishing out all that money, well, you might as well get the step above, right? Um, and then this also supports all of the ASIO and Windows driver interfaces. Um, this does support Dolby Atmos surround and stereo. So I want to highlight Dolby Atmos because prior to this new subscription model, you could only mix Dolby Atmos on the highest subscription level, which used to be called Ultimate. Um, so this is awesome. And that's why I say that pretty much all of you guys just need to get this plan now because I know a lot of you want to mess around with Dolby Atmos. And the reason I got the higher level plan was because I'm offering Dolby Atmos you know, mixing services to my clients and I had to have it. Now, I really don't even need it. So I can actually go down to this plan myself. So it's pretty awesome. So I think that's one of the greatest you know, updates to what Pro Tools is offering in this 2022.4 release, all right? So we also have this advanced automation available here. I'm actually not sure what this all has to offer, but it is available in here. Uh, you do not have access to this advanced post-production tool set. Again, this is not really a post-production, you know, subscription here. I guess I would say if you are doing you know, advanced post-production. If you are doing stuff for like film, like in Hollywood, then maybe you want to get a step above, but that's not most of the people watching this video, okay? So again, 99% of people that are watching this video want to get this plan here, all right? And you also only get standard Pro Tools support for this. All right, so lastly, let's move on to Pro Tools Flex. All right, so looking at the Pro Tools Flex pricing here, for a one-year subscription, it's gonna cost you $999 if you wanna pay it up front. And of course, that gets you access to the inner circle. Um, yes, that is quite expensive, but you do get everything that Pro Tools has to offer. Or you could pay $99 a month for this. And Unfortunately, that does not get you access to the inner circle, which kind of sucks considering you are getting the highest level plan. So I think Pro Tools should kind of do something about that personally, but whatever. Uh, so let's actually move on to see what Pro Tools Flex has to offer. All right, so for Pro Tools Flex here, this is for large scale music and or audio post-production and those who rely on Pro Tools HD systems. So that pretty much sums it up right there. If you have tons and tons of tracks and you're making music, or if you're doing large scale audio post-production, or if you simply have a Pro Tools HD system, this is the version you need, all right? And this version comes with pretty much everything, well, no, definitely comes with everything that the prior versions have. And then on top of that, it comes with Soundflow Cloud Avid Edition. So Soundflow is this thing where you can create macros to trigger you know, presets with the Pro Tools. It's supposed to help with your workflow. Um, I use a Slate Raven, so I kind of already have something that does my workflow for me like that. Um, kind of a little bit gimmicky, but uh, you know, guys can, you know, look into it yourself and see what to think. Um, so here, Inner Circle Rewards, again, is only available if you get the annual subscription. Uh, in this, we have 2,048 audio tracks, so you're never gonna run out. You have 512 instrument tracks, 1,024 MIDI tracks, 1,024 AUX tracks and routing folders, 128 VCA tracks, 512 master tracks, 64 video tracks, and for simultaneous recording, you could do 256 core audio ASIO, 192 HDX hybrid engine HDX classic, and 64 HD native. So you have a variety of there. And then for the Pro Tools system support, it supports everything Pro Tools, all the interfaces, all the HD stuff. Um, it's obviously not gonna support old legacy stuff unless, you know, it does, basically. There's probably some legacy systems that support, some that doesn't. You gotta kinda look at the release notes and Pro Tools always comes out with stuff saying, hey, we support this stuff or we don't, all right? So definitely check that out if you have an older system. Regarding third-party hardware, 
It's the same as the other versions, all core ASIO and your Windows driver devices. And then for mixing, this supports stereo surround Dolby Atmos and Ambisonics, which is the same as the tiered down of Studio. This supports advanced automation, and this has the advanced audio post-production tool set here, and then expert plus support. So you're gonna get top tier support from the Pro Tools technicians, okay? So those are the three plans in the new subscription model that Avid Pro Tools has to offer. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. And if you did enjoy this video, definitely check out my Pro Tools training playlist to learn more about this great DAW and how to use it properly. And with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.